Here, here's my issue. I can't be completely sold on Zion Williamson being a dominating NBA player, being in that category of a LeBron or a KD or even a Harden or a Russ, even though obviously he plays different position. Mm. The guy who will carry a franchise to multiple championships, in part because I haven't seen enough yet. And I'm going to warn you that this draft from top to bottom doesn't look very strong to me. It's strong at the very top, so it's top heavy, but top to bottom, all the way through the second round, I think this is a mediocre year at best in college basketball. Hmm. So I'm going to warn everybody out there that. Obviously, the second pick in the draft plays alongside Zion right now, R.J. Barrett at Duke. So does that help Zion? Does that mislead you a little bit? Because R.J. Barrett's really good. He's a slasher. He's got more of a scorer's mentality than Zion does. He's slightly above Zion in scoring average. He's taken a bunch more. I think he's taken 143 more shots than Zion has. Yeah. And he's leading the ACC in scoring, obviously. And... Not to mention that maybe the fourth or fifth pick in this draft plays for Duke and Cam Reddish, who hit a big shot to win the game at Florida State, a big three. So he's, he's turned into their closing clutch shooter. Not to mention that the best point guard in all of college basketball, to my eye, I'm just going on my eye test, plays for Duke. It's Trey Jones. So he is the guy setting up both those guys in the post, in the, in the paint, and are we being slightly misled by that? Maybe so. So I'm here to say I'm already a little more sold on Kyler Murray being a star quarterback than I am on Zion at this point being a dominating NBA superstar because I got to see Kyler in the Big 12 championship game against Texas at Jerry World. I got to see Kyler against Alabama in the national semifinal in the Orange Bowl. I saw it, and I bought it, and I believe in it, and I trust it. But I do need, I'm going to withhold a little bit today because I need to see a little bit more of Zion. Maybe, again, this is at Duke tonight. Carolina's at Duke. But they're going to play at Carolina on March the 9th. I'd like to see that game, see what happens. I'd like to see the ACC tourney. I'd like to see the NCAAs, especially the Final Four. If, in fact, Duke gets that far, I want to see the semifinal, and I want to see Zion in the final take over games. And I know this is a small sample size, but I've watched a lot of Duke this year. They did lose in the Maui Classic. This is way back in December. They lost to Gonzaga. Gonzaga's pretty good, but that was a weird game to me because it was a very close game late. And Zion did hit a big jumper, like a little mid-range soft jump shot. And he is the, he, he's as, as sensational a combination of power and touch as I've ever seen in college basketball so far, from what I've seen. Again, as, as far as power leaping goes, quick leaping, I, I've never seen anything like the combination of, of tonnage and and lift that this kid has. And it's su he's right. such a quick jumper. But he did make a little, little jump shot, and that tied the score. And then over the last minute, Zion didn't touch the basketball, and RJ just took the game over. But he didn't close the game because he took five shots in the last minute and missed all five of them. So RJ's got that dog in him. He's, he's that killer. He's got that, that makeup, just give me the ball and get out of my way. Zion's a sweet kid. He's a good kid. He's a great interview. He's great with the media. The stage is never too big for him. He never seems to, to feel any real pressure because he's, he's got the LeBron syndrome going. He's, since he was 14, everybody saw him coming as the next it kid. And the, so, so he knows what that feels like. And yet, I don't know if that sweet personality translates in the NBA into that cold-blooded assassin. Is he that guy? I haven't seen that guy yet. I see all the tangibles. I'm not sure about the intangibles. And Chris, I'm not completely sold at, remember, we got tweener height going on. I'm pretty sure he won't measure above 6'6". Six, six. So again, right, I'd agree. Okay, will the leaping take, take over that? You know, will it, will, it, will it eclipse his height? Will it render it obsolete? It's, it's sort of like Kyler Murray. He is so quick and so fast 
that 5'9 doesn't matter anymore because he can buy time. He can create throwing lanes. Well, can Zion overcome 6'6 six, six in the NBA just because of his power leaping? Maybe, because Charles Barkley did in, in certain ways and could throw his weight around and create space under the basket. I'll give you all that. And Zion's about 285, maybe. So will he have a weight problem in the NBA? It seems like he's keeping his weight pretty much under control at Duke. Will the tonnage start to wear on his body because he is going way up and coming way down with 285 pounds worth of, of, of contact, you know, on the floor, not to mention body contact. So I don't know how he's going to, if he'll wear well in the NBA, how, how his durability will be. Uh, I like everything I see, but I haven't seen enough. And it leads me to the, my last point, which is the shot. It's okay, but it's not great. He's tried some threes. He's kind of backed off the threes, but he's taken 14. I mean, sorry, he's made 14 this year out of 48. That's 29%. Can that get a little better? He doesn't have to shoot threes because Giannis doesn't shoot a lot of threes, obviously. But he probably at 6'6 needs to create a, a little more of a jump shot. Can he teach himself that the way Magic and Michael taught themselves to shoot? Maybe, maybe, but I haven't seen quite enough and I'm still fearful that we're all getting a little too swept up in what works on social media, and that is highlights, yep. dunks, sensational dunks. If he enters the dunk contest next year, the NBA dunk contest, the All-Star weekend dunk contest, nobody else should enter because he's just going to win it going away. We should just watch him do three or four dunks and call it a night because he, is, he, he will immediately be the most sensational dunker in the league. Does that translate into championships? I, I'm not sold on that yet. So I'm going to reserve a little bit here because I'm not as blown away by him so far as I have been by Kyler Murray in sure. football. Boy, but I mean, so many people are sold. Scared. Well, I think <laughs> when you look at that, just quickly, the dunk contest, Ja Morant, you've seen yep, him, his former teammate. Now he's at Murray State. Yep. He's going to be, in. I assume, in that dunk contest. That He'll be work. special. I'd like to see Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon get in it, too. That I think it work. could really sure. be something great. But you brought up the first guys you brought up, Skip, LeBron, KD, Harden, and Westbrook. I'm not saying, and I would not say he could be a LeBron or a KD. I do think he can be a Westbrook and a Harden. Like, I'm not convinced he's going to lead a team to multiple championships. But I think he can be a superstar in the league he can be an Anthony Davis type player. He can be on the level. He's different type, different position, but on the level of a Westbrook. I don't think Westbrook ever won a championship, but he can be that type of player. Charles Barkley never won a championship. I think he can be that type of player. You mentioned R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett has a lot of the game that we look at today we that we see from a lot of the stars. Yep. He's more ball dominant. He, he he's is. Shoot, he's a volume shooter. I, I agree. Uh, but what I like about Zion, Skip, is that he is not ball dominant. He's nope. getting his 23 points and not doing it by dominating the basketball. I Agreed. like the fact that he can play off the ball and that's a great skill to have. I think you see with Golden State and some other teams, teams are trying to go that way where your superstar isn't ball dominant. So I like that about him as well. And Skip, I think you want to see him in the big games. That's what you seem to be saying. Mm -hmm. He's been good. So He's been great so far in the big games. He was great against Louisville recently. Uh, he had he 35 and 10 yep. mm -hmm. against Syracuse. And remember, Syracuse sits in that zone, so you would think that would be his weakness, but he was able to dominate them. So but they lost. I but like him. I'm not saying yep. multiple titles yet, mm -hmm. but I'm saying superstar. Okay. Look, what, what I do love, to your point about the unselfish nature, his mom and his stepdad brought him up to play a lot of point guard. So he's got some point in him, and he enjoys passing the basketball, and I think he has the vision and the capability to be a very good big man type passer. And I also love what you pointed out. He will try on defense. I, the, he'll rest sometimes with Duke. But, but again, he, he's 2.3 steals a game. That's really good for his size. So he cares and gets playing defense and has 
the, the sort of instinct and vision to be able to anticipate on defense. I like all that about him, but does that does all that add up to KD LeBron? I I don't see that yet. I'm 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 withholding that. I think we're all getting a little swept up in highlights as opposed to scoreboard. And and again, he's playing on by far the best team right now, which could could camouflage some of the weaknesses. So so I'm I'm waiting and seeing on this one, and I'm looking forward to tonight. This will be an interesting test. It'll be interesting. You you brought up KD LeBron. Like he's getting so much hype. He is. Like usually, even the great young players, they get a I don't know four year honeymoon period or so where. As long as they establish themselves individually, they put up great numbers, they look like an all-star, they maybe make it a couple all-star teams early on and establish themselves as a superstar, that's all we want. We're not really looking at wins. LeBron didn't make the playoffs his first two years. You know, nobody held it against him a few years ago. Carl Anthony Towns was, everybody loved him. Now, finally, you're starting to say, okay, is he going to start winning? Yep. You know, so I think... I don't know if Zion with the extra hype, people will start saying he's got to win immediately. I don't see that. I don't see him going to Cleveland or New York if nobody else goes there and immediately making them a great team or a very good team. I don't think he's going to win in that situation right away, but I do think he'll establish himself individually as a great player.